it has been described as black gold by some, but the trade of charcoal, a primary energy source for cooking, has been hit hard by the changing environment, or rather changing government policy in Kenya since 2018. Now, with this in mind, a group made up of disabled persons in Kamulu in Nairobi is capitalizing on an alternative to make briquettes with the support of the Kenya paraplegic organization. And as Brian Mutai reports, this initiative has had a huge impact on their lives and their families. A typical day for the Kamulu Persons with Disability Group, located in Kamulu along Kangunda Road here in Nairobi. Twenty-four members, all working in turns, and every member is actively involved. Their aim is to increase their earning power through sales of these briquettes, which are compressed blocks of coal, dust or other combustible biomass materials used for fuel and the kindling to start a fire. The group sources for raw materials, which is ash, from different dump sites in the city. Once collected, they process it in the briquette making machine, which produces briquettes. The machine is capable of producing tons of briquettes, depending on the amount of raw materials it has been fed. Among them is Jeremiah Washira, who leads the team here. He is also disabled, but this does not change his contribution and zeal to add value to the group. He puts in the effort. We use some low material from uh, trees, like sawdust. So it's very good for the briquette because it acts like an axeran. We mix them with uh, a bit of uh, red soil, which we use it as a binder. This is uh, a mixture of fruits, which is helping the briquette now. It's generating sort of uh, an oil. So this is helping our briquette to oxidize well. So you just friend it. Uh, so these ones now you uh, you have to cut into small pieces. From the briquette making machine, the briquettes are then taken out for drying and then later to the stores. Tukona magunia thalathini miyamoja thalathini. Magunia yoto munaona hapa ni kilo ishirini kwa kila gunia. Kwa hivyo, ikiwa kama sasa ni kuwani dhate, utajua sasa tuko na 260 kilos here. The team manages the entire process. Albeit, access in this place for a disabled person is a challenge. They want to participate in the whole process, but they themselves sometimes need assistance. Town, ni kienda mina kutaka kuna katia kama tegezo kakuigia kwa mwofisi. Pahari kama hapa kwetu, through the support of the Kenya Paraplegic Organization in collaboration with Ndoto Zetu by Safaricom, the group has been engaging in such economic activities to sustain themselves. Our mandate is to support, to work with, and to ensure that persons with disability live dignified lives, maximize their potential, and are productive members of the society. So we put together a proposal together with the group and then forwarded to Safaricom, and we are very thankful that they did get consideration and the reason why we are here today. Graphics design. 
with charcoal burning still restricted and a focus on environmental conservation likely to push down charcoal sales. The group capitalized on that disruption and came up with the idea of briquette making, which has proved economically sound because of how it burns consistently for longer and is more eco-friendly. Tulitaka hii ya charcoal briquette sababu kuligana na dunia world the world itself watu wote wanaenda kwa charcoal briquette sababu mi, eh kitu sema hapa kwetu Kenya kukata miti imekatazwa when you have a disability that does not make you know you not be able to 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 perform as well you just need to be given the opportunity and you need the support to be able to to maximize opportunity Every time one briquette comes out of this machine, it gives hope to the members of the Kamulu program of disabled person that even them have a brighter future. Brian Mutai for Citizen TV.